April 12, Easter Sunday of the Resurrection of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head not with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciples, then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. They have taken the Lord from the tomb. The last scene on Calvary is the hurried burial of Jesus since the Sabbath is about to begin. Luke notes that Galilean women who have accompanied Jesus to Jerusalem mark the tomb where Jesus' body is laid so that they can anoint his body and give him a proper burial after the Sabbath. So at daybreak on the first day of the week, the women hurry to the tomb with their spices and perfumed oil only to find the stone rolled away and the tomb empty. John mentions only Mary of Magdala, probably to dramatize the tradition that Jesus appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She may have been with other women as well. We don't know where they put him. It never crosses the disciples' mind that Jesus will rise from the dead despite Jesus' intimations of his passion. He will be scourged and killed, but on the third day he will rise. Hence, they can only conclude that with the tomb empty, they have taken the Lord from the tomb. Some people must have stolen the body. Jesus' resurrection is one of a kind. It is not a return to earthly life as in the case of Chirus' daughter, of the son of the widow of Nain, or of Lazarus. It is his being raised to the glory of God. For John, it is his return to his former glory with the Father from whom he came. Since it is an event that transcends earthly categories, we are not told of what happened. Mary Magdalene panics and can only report about the empty tomb to Peter and the beloved disciple. Peter, who enters the tomb, does not know what to make of the burial clothes. Only the disciples whom Jesus loved sees and believes. It will take Jesus' appearance to Mary and the disciples for the wonderful news to sink in.